<laughs> Hi guys, welcome to my channel and welcome back to more One OK Brock. And today we're gonna continue with the first ever album that they released. The next song on the album is Borderline, so we're gonna do this one. There was a live performance that had Spanish subtitles, but, but I found a video with English subtitles, so I'm gonna do that one. And I may do the live performance with Spanish subtitles in another video where, when I like know the song and all that. Um, I'm really excited for this one because the last song was amazing. I really loved it. So I really want to know the vibe of the album because I don't really remember which songs I did for this one. So I'm excited for that. And then we're gonna be doing a bunch of um, making of Renegades. There's three parts and an acoustic version. I don't know if I'm gonna do all of them today or only the normal like studio version, not the acoustic one. I don't know if I'm gonna do that video or not depending on the time that I have, but I'm gonna try to do them all because they are pretty short. But yeah, I'm really excited to do these making offs because the last ones were super fun and super good. I don't know, I really love seeing this process. So yeah, let's go. We'll start with the song today since the rest of the videos go together, kind of. Um, so yeah, let's go with this one with Borderline. Uh, I hope the translation is right. Uh, this was the only video I could find that had English subtitles for it. So, yeah, let's go. <laughs> they look like babies. Whoa! Oh my god. I don't know why I'm shocked. Jesus. The guitars. Oh, that's hot. Oh my god, deep. <laughs> Once again, we have a hard song with deep fucking lyrics. I don't know if I should cry to this or like rock with it. <laughs> my god. Ooh. My god, my god. The guitars, man. Oh. Ay. The lyrics. Oh, I love when they stop for a second. <laughs> I love when they do that. Ooh. Oh, it feels, I know it's an old song. Well, but I was going to say that it truly feels like an old school song, which it is. So it's amazing. I loved this type of songs when I was younger. So that's actually so good. <laughs> it reminds me of like a younger me. <laughs> Oof. Oh 
my god! These guitars are gonna be the death of me. I got pretty. That's amazing. As I said, it really has these vibes of like the an old school song, which again I know like this was released in 2007, so it's it is an old song. Um I would have loved this song when I was like 15. I like I love it too right now, but I feel like I would have connected with it a ton more when I was younger. That's crazy. Question. I don't really know how old they were here. Were they my age? Like I'm 20... Wait. I'm 24. I'm about to be 25. And I don't know where or when they talked about their age when they debuted it. But I don't know why I kind of... Like I think they said 24 or something like that or 22. I don't really remember. Um, Because I don't really know how old they are right now. <laughs> but... um. I loved, I love, love, love this song so much. The lyrics were so intense once again. Like, I don't really know why, I, why I'm why i surprised at this point. But I really freaking love this. Wow, so far so good. Both songs of this album were crazy. I actually want to know which songs I've done from this album. So let me check for a second. Oh, etc. Yume Yume and this song that I still don't know how to pronounce. Wow. Okay, so we've done three songs from this. I, um, I love this one. So freaking good. I can't wait to hear the rest of the album so that I... I knew that this was going to be like... These first few albums were going to be harder in like more rock songs. So I don't know, I freaking love it. So, f so good. But let's move on now to the making of Renegades. Uh, again, we have three videos for the normal song so i'm really excited to to see all of this because we've done dmb i know they did this song with the chiran uh, but i don't know if we're gonna see Ed chiran in here i think one of these ones had Ed chiran on the thumbnail the third one so we're gonna see him there i suppose this is going to have subtitles i don't think we're gonna have subtitles for this we're here for the vibe, I guess. Um, we'll see. But I really want to do this, so... We'll do it either way. <laughs> Let's go. I guess that if we have a chair in here, they're gonna speak in English or like translate it. So I think we're good. All the songs we've done, it's like one day. One song, one song a day. One song a day, cool. Yeah. I'm so, so excited. Focus on one song today, yeah? Yeah. Sure. That would be great. Nice. Why don't you take those chords and switch it up a little bit and just have a. Because uh, you could have a song that has a kind of 4 4 kick to the floor and then when it gets. Ed Sheeran's the... songs are amazing. Like, you can really, really tell when he is part of a song. Chorus suddenly goes. The storytelling up, and all that.
Oh, so we're gonna see everything? And then you get to the chorus, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Back a bit. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah. My God, Toru, you look good. <laughs> My God, he's talented as freak. Cool. That's great. Can I sing something high pitched and you fuck it up and make it sound really interesting? <laughs> We're on the same page. Sure. Uh, <laughs> same page. Do you want to be over here? Just hit it. Ooh. Yeah. And just trash it. That's a deep low. Oh, pretty. Yeah. Go for it. Go. Take it off. Or whatever. My god, he's insane. Yeah, yeah, here you go. It has a such a cool vibe. Ooh. Oh, I love seeing this. I'm so happy. Be yeah, it does. So it goes. I got fire in my soul, but I've lost faith in this broken system. I got love for my home, but something I don't need to. Uh, you better, I better, I better. But that's so, something, something's gotta change in this old existence. Wait, my TV is about to turn off. Sorry. Yeah. I'm so happy. I love these videos. This is good. This is really good. I really like it. Really. Yeah. I've got a fire in my soul. I've got a fire in my soul. Fire. Fire. Got a fire in my soul. That's my fire. Yeah, we've got we've got we've got that line. Yeah, we've got yeah. that. I've cool. got a fire myself. That one was pretty good too. Yeah, yeah, yeah that was fine. I've got Ooh. love for my home. Go crazy. If he cry, is there anyone listening? What a forgotten generation. With a forgotten generation. With a forgotten generation. My God, why am I like this? I fucking love this. Seeing this from the very beginning, actually making the song. This is my dream come true. I really wish everyone would do this. Because as as fans, I feel like we would appreciate all these songs even more than we do. Just because you see how everything comes to life. I understand that there are songs that you struggle and that you can f actually film it from the beginning. But like, I love this. I'm a sucker for this. With a forgotten generation. 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 With a I did this um, for an Italian song about two years ago, I and I was so tired after it. Like my head <laughs> just hurt so much, so I know where you're at right now. <laughs> <laughs> you're right. You're tired. Of fine, fine. Yeah, I need to like you know, the you listen to it and yeah, yeah, and get into my body <laughs> and just comes out. Make it, out, so making it time, your own. Yeah. Normally, like you know, I'll do like very um, the first things like just to sing in, mm. and then after that, like just at the same time, I have to. That memorize the melodies yeah, too. Yeah, of so course. Yeah, it's uh, it sounds great though. Man. It's a process. Should we do that? I'm not afraid. Quiet.
Okay. I'm for maybe. Wow. My God. My God, the fact that he does it like three times in a row. Pretty. I fucking love this. I'm such a fungal, but I really freaking love these things. And with Save Yourself, we saw the behind the scenes of the MB, but we didn't really see this. And I would have loved to see this because we, we obviously have the process for this song, which has a cheer in it. And at the end of the day, I feel like he was the one actually directing everything and kind of coaching Taka in this case. But I really want to see how Taka would do that. Like I only Taka and, me, and Toru. I think both of them do some songs like this. I see that there's one for making of, um, there's a making of uh, Broken Heart of Gold, which I really want to see that too. Oh my God, this is so exciting. <laughs> Let's go with the second one. I don't know what this is going to be, but we'll see. I am so, so, so excited for this. Okay, let's go. I, oh, I didn't want to do that. Okay, still no subtitles. Okay, so we have the recording now. Uh -huh. Wait, this is the same thumbnail that we had for Broken Heart of Gold. Okay, the same day, I guess. Oh, hi. Oh, pretty. So they basically yeah. understand English pretty good, but don't speak it that good. Well, at least at this time. Because then I'll have the guitars, you know, go like... Maybe they are not confident. With you. So everyone's gonna go. Ooh, pretty. Everything. Mm -hmm. Orchestra, everything. Okay. Yeah. And you can... That makes you... Him aggressive. Uh, makes you yeah. aggressive. Okay. Yeah. ま、My God, so good. <laughs> that guy being like, fuck yeah. Well, one thing for sure, it's really, it's really healthy sounding. Yeah. It's healthy. healthy. I think, yeah. I mean, <laughs> healthy. It sounds strong, you know? Oh, yeah. And it's, um... And I think it's more powerful than the other, but I, what the thing I don't know is, is, you know, is it a, is it well, is it a little phasey or is it is it? Um, I don't know what that means. <laughs> yeah, that's, pretty, that's pretty. That's better. Yeah, I think. 
I just want to worry about um, like not too much going to the uh, heavy rock. You know what I mean? Yeah, the guitars so, are a little loud right now. Yeah. It's like a more yeah. British, you know what I mean? Like British. That way. I know. I actually have a theory. This is a good, it's worked for me a lot. Cool. If you listen to a lot of really successful bands, mm -hmm. okay. the guitar actually sounds Korean. like the voice. Oh, like really? The sounds what? The guitar actually sounds Korean. like the voice. Like the voice. Oh, yeah. I, 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 I thought Taka said Korean. Bands. I was like, what? Mm -hmm. The guitar actually sounds Korean. like the voice. Oh, like really? the singer. That's the trick. Ooh, Jamil, did you hear that? <laughs> what is that? The guitar sounds like the singer? It's the and then even in the regular leads, he sounds like it. And then you could go to the Beatles and you'll see that Paul McCartney actually changes the sound of his voice on different songs. So if it's, when I get to the bottom, I go back to the top of the slide. You know, he makes oh, okay. it sound like the guitar. Right. That's so good. So anyways, we'll make that happen that for you. And you'll see it makes it very cohesive. And then it's like I love that actually. It sounds. What is that? Like it just sounds important. Right, right, yeah. right. Definitely, yes. Yeah. Oh. yeah, we'll do that. Okay, I'm comfortable with that. <laughs> Did you? Mm -hmm. To tear it down and bury it up again, bury it up, bury it up, build. I'm not afraid. Jesus, he just went for build. it. I'm not afraid to tilt it out and bend it up again. Great. Done. Done. Oh. <laughs> Easy peasy squeezy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Wow. Insane. Jesus, okay. So you never Oh, we never got that? It never Oh, there might be one thing. Uh, okay. My god, I, s I love seeing the brain working. <laughs> wow. I love it. Perfect. Was it good? Superstar. Twenty years. That's cool. One down, we got one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Oh my god. I'm obsessed with this. Tomoya, I I would really, 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 really love to be able to hear these songs with the instrumentals by themselves. Not only the instrumental without Taka, but like actually having this part separately because having Tomoya recording that all by himself, like not guitars, not bass, not voice, not the voice, was crazy. Because you can, obviously when it's all together, it's crazy and it's so good. But I really would love to see these things individually just because I feel like we miss some things when it's all together and the intensity and all that you can actually see it when it's when you hear it live but i feel like in the studio version sometimes you can appreciate every single detail from every single instrument but i mean actually having all having it all together is so fun too so i don't know i i just would really like to have these things separately to kind of appreciate them separately and together does that make sense? Who knows? But whatever. <laughs> Let's go with the third one. This is actually super short. So I don't know what's gonna be. But we'll see. Let's go. That's kind of sick, actually. 
That's fresh. That's fresh. David was um our first time met in LA. So he have a really good ideas and show me, you know, like a lot of things and I, I really like it actually. But he you know, pick it up the melodies and the lyrics and just put together. Oh, nice. Piece by piece and cool. he made it really good songs. Jinjin. Sometimes it, I couldn't come up the melodies. Suddenly she's sometimes singing. That melody, the lyrics is so much makes me emotional. Yeah. It's very strong, but very sensitive. Oh, he's it's so cool. Special she has, so I really like her. Ed, do you like his uh, besties? One of, one of my best person. I, 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 I can't. Like, I believe that Ed Sheeran is so nice person. Yeah. So calm. So he sweet. seems like such a genuine soul. Mean, like, he has a so ideas, genuine soul. You know, in his head. Yeah. Going around. Yeah. I think he's a fucking genius, though. Yeah. Okay, so he was just complimenting people. <laughs> nice. I love that. Um, They both... Uh, Ed and Taka really look like they admire each other and I just love that. They are besties and that's amazing. And the rest of them, like the producers from the last one, this producer, the girl, like all of them must have like a mind of a genius, like for sure, because I don't know how they do that. It's insane. But I think we do have time to actually do the third one, the other one, which is the making of the Renegades acoustic version. Let's go with this one too. This was so fun. I fucking love it. Have I heard the Renegades acoustic version? I think I have. Okay, let's go. Are they recording everything at once? Uh, recording My god, they always say that. <笑>やっぱり難しいですね、急にやるのは。そのタイム感もね、忘れるぐらいになってたから、スケジュール的に昨日詰め詰めになりましたけど。元々そのこのアコースティックのアレンジしようってなった時にできるだけそのまあ生の音であの再現できるものでっていうテーマで進めていったところもあったのでまあ通るんちで最初でも作ってあのアレンジ詰めていったんですけどその中のアイデアでこ
原曲とは違う感じでなんか多分聴いてる人もすごい楽しめるんじゃないかなもうもう OK でしょ<笑>全然 OK でしょ OK <笑>じゃない<笑>全然 OK でしょ OK でしょ,、OK、でしょもう,もう今帰ろう<笑><笑>なんかいい感じの雰囲気のスタジオですね。ね、居心地がいい。<笑>初めて。<笑>うちらでやるのは初めて。あ、うん、really？ お。That was good. Double. Ah. Double to Chiro Gita, no way. He's like. Nanko, so he can't see. He can't see. Hmm. Oh, I'm in. Go to the whole car. Go to the whole car. This is so cool. I love it. The arrangement, the acoustic version, is a very good version. So, it's a very good version. I'm going to get a new one. So, I'm going to get a new one. I'm going to get a new one. Oh my god. The high notes of this song are crazy. Taka's voice is. Oh, I, I, they did, right? Shimbal, <laughs> Totoku? Shimbal, um. Oh, Shimbal? Um. Iyo, so, eh? Ma. とっといた方がいいかな。そうやね,ね。スブラッシュか、普通のシンバルか、普通のシンバルの方がいいかな。どうやろう。この曲。どうやろうな。この曲はもしかしたら。ちょっと大きいやつのが。I don't know what they're talking about, really. Thank <laughs> you. But then, but then, the sound to put on to do is very nice. They are so good. The recording, 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 the r e c o r d バンドマンマジバンドマンの時間完全にバンドマンこれ完全にバンドマンの時間時間なんて関係ないみたいですねいやいや疲れるか<笑>個人的にはもうすごい楽しい時間でしたナイスいつもの日常がなんか戻りつつあるなって感じですよねなんか久々になんかあっちでその4人で合わせた時にあんた久々だなみたいなこの感じマイゴッド、アイラブダム。ジーザス I'm not ending. <laughs> that is so freaking nice. Just, I think that it has to be cool for them to, to make acoustic songs or slower songs when most of their discography is like 
harder or like more a bit. I feel like it has to be like cool and like new in a way, even though they've done a bunch of them, but like not as many as like the other type of songs. So I don't know. I, I think it just has to be fun to kind of change up for a bit. They look so happy to be doing this again. And I can tell that they're just still so passionate about the music that they make, being together, being as, uh, together as a band. I don't know, it's just amazing to see this process of like creating these songs. This song in this case, because I don't know, it's really, really, really pretty to see just like the process and how everything comes to life and like how everything is made, how they think of things. Um, especially people like Ed Sheeran. I've not seen Taka or Toru do this, but I feel like it has, like, seeing Ed Sheeran being so sure about, like, the plan of everything and just try things and actually making a song out of that, like, that's beyond me. Could never do that. <laughs> but it was so cool. Uh, I love it so much. This was great. I think I'm gonna continue with these making offs um in these next few weeks just because i really love them and i don't know which songs they did maybe we have only a couple left maybe we have a bunch of them who knows i have to do some research but i really really love it so yeah i can wait for that but that is basically it for me today thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys on the next one